Okay, welcome to our Wednesday webinar. This week we are concentrating on Excel uh, and during this webinar you're going to learn how to maximize um, on the new order Excel order template. Uh, you're going to learn the different places where you can find it and you're going to learn some importing and exporting tips and tricks. So basically, um, we're just going to really focus on different ways to maximize on this feature and make sure that you know where to find it so you can cater to um, some of your buyer's needs. So um, overall, Excel, not sure if you guys know, but it's actually embedded into uh, New Order in a million different places, right? So um, every time you send out actually a line sheet, uh, or a recommendation even, there'll be Excel versions of everything in there. Every time you send out, um, you know, drafts or order forms, the same thing, um, you can export Excel there as well. Right, so, and this Excel actually has tremendous value. Um, there's a couple different, you know, use case scenarios, but buyers many times can use this Excel to, you know, upload uh, directly into their systems, right, whether they're EDI or not, or maybe they're just uh, cutting and pasting it into their own PO order forms. Either way, it cuts out a ton of administrative time for them, and it's very, very useful. So right there, you know, it gets you a step closer to that order conversion, right, um, shortening that time, that order amendment time, um, and just tightening up on that whole admin responsibility. Because, you know, if they have the Excel of all the info already laid out for them, they don't need to bother hand keying it. Um, it also has tremendous value in terms of an order form, right? So if a buyer did use it as an order form and there was units on there and they sent it back to you, you have the power to upload that into New Order, which again saves you time because you don't have to hand key anything, right? So we're going to review all of that, but you know, that's just sort of the overview of some of the value that that Excel can deliver um, and just, just understanding how dynamic uh, it actually can be. So to begin, you know, just a basic overview. So what is the template, right? What is this Excel template that we keep referring to? So hold on, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go show you guys right now. Okay, so this is the Excel template, right? So it's the information by line in an Excel format, really easy to read. You actually even have Im images embedded, which is, uh, again, really valuable for, for many buyers. Uh, and then you have all of the info about the style, every single attribute broken out for you, right? So this is very, very useful, again, for those clients that have their own POs and need this info broken out ahead of time. You know, you have the style number, you even have color code, all of this, um, uh, exported for you. And again, this is supposed to make, you know, New Order makes that whole selling process come full circle, right? So you're getting the actual style number and all the attributes of the style from your ERP. It's saved in New Order, and then you can export it this quickly, you know, so the buyer can then use this information and use it correctly. Right, so it even keeps going. I mean, there's description maybe for some of your direct accounts, um, and this particular template doesn't have it, but you know, it includes UPCs, units, notes, everything. So, everything here is in this Excel template, right? And so, this is what I'm referring to um, that will come out in the line sheet email, in the recommendation email, out of the working order. Um, all of the styles broken out for you in this format, okay. Where can you find it, right? So hold on, I'm gonna go back into New Order. Okay, so where you can find it. So again, you know, as you can see, Excel right here, so this is attached when you send out a line sheet. The same thing when you send out a recommendation, you'll see that it toggles on with the same exact view. Um, you'll also be able to find it, you know, in the working order here, export. All of these places, you can find the Excel. Additionally, I'm just gonna show you really quickly the email format that it comes in, so you guys are just familiar. Um, but right here. Okay, so this is the email, you know, if you sent yourself uh, or if you sent out a recommendation, you'll see it right here. So the buyer or yourself can download the Excel format easily right here. Okay, so it's really easy to find um, and takes no effort to really get it out there. All right, and lastly, you know, what can you use it for? So I'm going to go through just a couple best practices right now. I'm going to use two different use case scenarios to make it um, understandable. Just going to go back right now. To 
Okay. So two different use case scenarios. Um, one of which, let's talk about reaching out, right? Reaching out to some buyers and, and getting them to use this Excel and giving it to them for their own systems, right? So one way you could do this is, let's say you open an entire line sheet, you know, like I just did. Maybe this agenda, this, this one just went up and it's, it's um, you know, pre-season, um, right before market. You can go ahead and click on a line sheet, click on the mail button, and you really, you don't have to do anything, but I would edit, you know, the email message here and, you know, you could say, we're about to go to market. This line is just live, make an appointment, you know, and if you can't come, there is obviously a digital order form to use, which is the easy order or, you know, Excel and draw attention to the Excel for those buyers um, that, you know, are more prone to use Excel, right? And show them that it's there because this is super valuable for them. So, you know, by doing that, they can then, uh, and, no, and tell them too, you know, you can use that as your order form and go ahead and put your units in there and send it back. Or for certain maybe major accounts, you can say to them, you know, the Excel is attached um, with images. So you can use this as a style master for your own, you know, EDI system or your POs or to prepare for market better, right? So this whole reaching out concept, um, it's, you don't need to do anything. You just leave it defaulted on, but um, you want to just draw attention to that and make your buyers aware that it is there and how to use it. Um, and they definitely will use it because they're hundred uh, percent. Somebody is hand keying a lot of this information into, you know, their order forms if they aren't using the new order one, especially, you know, assistant buyers. And again, you know, what I mentioned before, this is really going to shorten that order conversion time, that whole order amendment period. It's going to make it a lot faster um, and make it error free, right? Which is going to cut back on all those emails that go around after the PO is accepted, right? To EDI it, to, to make sure that, you know, there's no wrong price, that there's no wrong color code, all of that, you know, by letting them know that that Excel is attached and it's that Excel that I just showed you and all that information is there, they can cut and paste it very, very easily and quickly. Um, Okay, so now, you know, let's talk about uh, actually using the Excel as um, an order form or actually using it uh, in terms of maybe a market appointment, right? So to do that, let's say, okay, you can go ahead and click on a style, right? Let's say we're in a market appointment. You can put the sizes that you want. You could put the notes that the buyer is even saying, you know, while they're sitting in front of you and you can throw all of that into the cart you open the cart. And at this point, you'll see that there is an export button on the lower left. So you can go ahead and use this at any point. And what this will do by clicking this, you'll see you have multiple formats that you can choose from, but you can go ahead right here and actually export into Excel everything that's in that working order. You know, and it's that fast. Here, I'm gonna open it right now and show you guys. So you can go ahead um, right here. You can go ahead and export everything right there into Excel. And then from there, the buyer can take this with them, right? So for those buyers that are more prone to working in Excel and, and reliant on Excel, you know, you can still use the app during the appointment, right? So you don't have to go in there with all these line sheets where somebody's handwriting on the line sheet and then they are, and then you need to photocopy it. And then someone's typing next to them, all of the info into Excel so they can place their PO quicker after the meeting, right? You can you you can be paperless in your appointment. You can take your notes, see, you know, digitally right here. See, even this row is the notes row. Um, and then right before they leave, you can export it into Excel and, and email it right to them, you know, right in front of you. And what that does is it saves a copy of this in new order for you. So already your follow-up time is cut in half. You can run reporting, you know, off of this, off of their notes. Um, you know, you have a copy with the images. You can run your projections even if they were started to give you units uh, because you have price here. So you can figure out, you know, the extended, um, you know, what you're rolling up to. Um, you know, there's also category and such is actually, you know, exported on this Excel. So if you do need to do any reporting, you know, on this first projection, you can do that. You can look at percent to total, you know, whatever you may need. Um, but this is a great way to run some of your appointments uh, that's going to shorter admin time on your side and admin time on the buyer side to, you know, to get to that final PO.
right? So, and it's as easy literally as typing in the units, the notes, or, or, or none of them, and just putting what they like into the working order, clicking export, and sending them on their way with that Excel. And again, there is multiple formats um, of Excel. Uh, let me just go back to Google Chrome. Okay, so, you know, again, if, when you click export here, you can choose. I chose the horizontal, you know, with images, but there is vertical, too. So play around with these, become familiar with what they are, and then use the appropriate one for, um, you know, how, whatever way your buyer works, right? But you have a lot of options and flexibility here. So, you know, I guess just to recap in those two best practices, reaching out, makes it very easy. Getting the buyer info to prepare for market, very, very easy. Giving the buyer an order form, um, you know, in that reach out process, uh, Excel order form is also super easy. You know, you just need to make them aware and how to use it. Um, so what they send it back, then you can upload it. And then again, it also works great, you know, this Excel in the, in your market appointments. You know, you don't, I think a lot of people get confused that if they're going to use new order in their market appointment, then the buyer has to place the order on new order and it's it maybe, you know, it's not for them if the buyer works a very specific way. But that's 100% not true. You know, you should be thinking about saving yourself time and what makes your follow-up easier and also what provides the buyer with the best tools to write the order, right? And new order holds all of those tools for you. So, you know, putting all of the notes in here and then exporting them in Excel, it doesn't, um, you know, it only changes uh, and, and eases, like, you know, shortens all of the follow-up time, um, but it still gives them Excel at the end of the day. So, you know, if they want to hold on to that process, they definitely still can. Okay, so now we've talked about all these different ways to get Excel out and what people can do with the Excel once they have it, but let's talk about um, ways and time-saving ways that, that you can take that Excel back and use it. Okay, so import right here. So anytime when I open that working order, you'll see an import button. This is really important. This is what I'm talking about, where if you get Excel back, all you do is literally drag and drag, drag and drop the Excel template right here. It loads into the system, and uh, that's how you can upload Excel. Right, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you really quickly. Uh, oops, one second, guys and show you how quick that is. And then we'll talk about the, the formatting. But okay, so I'm in the working order. I click import. I'm gonna go ahead now and grab my Excel that, I, that a buyer just sent me. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and hover it over the drag file here, this gray area, and just release the Excel there. And when it's done reading it, it will say success. We found eight products. You know, I, I loaded eight and imported them successfully continue to working order. And it's that easy, right? So it loaded everything on my Excel. Um, and this particular upload, let's see, yep, every style is in here. And this one I even included a unit right here and I included notes. So the Excel also reads notes, so text, which is really, really amazing and great because any, any, any type of, um, you know, comments the buyer made in the appointment or comments that they want to give you maybe to customize something. Uh, if they put that in Excel, it will come through, right? And the same thing with units. So it's that easy to import, okay? And, you know, any Excel. It's really just a raw Excel format. Any of these export ones that we talked about, all of these import. But now let's talk about uh, formatting, right? And some tips and tricks behind that. So, you know, it always, the list will always be here if you ever need to reference it. But overall, you need to understand that the Excel has to have a column that says season, a column that says style number, exactly like this, and a column that says color, right? So those are the only three fields actually that it needs. And if you dragged and dropped the Excel template here, and you know, all the season codes are right, the style numbers are right, the colors were right on their order, it just accepts it. All the other fields in Excel fall away and it will load that information and you will have those styles left in your working order bucket. That's all it needs. It doesn't need to have this special fancy format. You know, I think people get a little confused that maybe it's something very specific, but it is not. It's literally looking for three headers, these three. Right now, if you want to take it a step further and you want that import to include, um, you know, start cancel dates then you must have a column uh, that says ship start and ship end, and then the dates are underneath it. Um, you know, and I think so a lot of POs you might get back, maybe they, they say uh, start date, 
cancel date, right? You just would need to um, rewrite over the header, ship start and ship end, and that's the only change you'd have to make. And then make sure the dates are formatted like this, month, day, year. Uh, and again, you could right click on Excel, highlight that column, and you can format it into that date that easily. You know, you don't have to manually do anything. So by, you know, by adding, just changing these two headers, maybe formatting the, the column, and you can, you not only loaded the season, the style number, you know, all the style information, but you also loaded the proper start cancels you wanted. So it's very easy. Now, if you want to load, let's say the units, right? So if they put units on that, on that Excel form, um, you do need a header over the units column that just says quantity. Okay, that's all you need, and New Order will read it as, okay, these are the units. These are the units that they're ordering. Um, but it's looking for a column that says literally quantity. And that's, and those are the edits you need to make, you know, if, if any at all. Um, if you want to add a column that has all of their comments, right? I was talking about maybe they have comments they were just throwing out during the meeting or maybe customization comments that you guys are going to need to reference later on. You need to just title that column notes, and it, New Order will take it in and put it in the notes field. Um, one other thing, so if you are using, you know, if you're uploading the units under the quantity column, the size must be the proper size that's in new order. So, you know, you can figure that out by playing around with the export button, how I showed you, and seeing how the size is written, but that's really important that you just use the same sizes. You know, if, if in new order, um, a size small is spelt just SM, then on the order form, it needs to say SM. You know, it can't say a, a small fully typed out. So that's just, you know, the only difference. Um, and then it's going to take it right in. So it, it's as easy as that. And all the extra fields fall away, right? So they can have all these other fields that maybe are door profile or, you know, internal needs on their end. You don't need to bother deleting those. They just don't get uploaded and it's fine. And another way to do this too is if you go ahead and you upload here, and then maybe you go to the working order and you export it and send it back to them, right? You know, like you can make sure they have the updated pricing if they didn't have it that at the time of the appointment. You know, it shortens then the whole process all the way to the final order, right? So any of those changes, uh, you can continue to export and, and send it over to them so they can cut and paste that info into their own um, working orders, right? files that it takes. So right here, it can take, obviously, XLS, um, CSV, any of these, these files, you can drag and drop right here, and it will take it in. Um, also, it can take images or without images. It doesn't matter. The images can definitely stay on that template. It will ignore them. Uh, either way, it, can, it will upload easily. OK. Um, Excel, the last place I do want to point out too, just talking about sort of working through an order maybe once it's placed and updating, um, maybe resending the buyer Excel when you're closer to shipping to make sure they have the right price. Uh, in the orders tab, all of these orders, you can also export all of them uh, into Excel as well. So over here on the right, you know, you'd have the... Um, the three little dots, which is the menu for that order, you can download anything into Excel here as well and go ahead and resend that out to them. And it will make sure, you know, you're sending them the most updated info. Uh, or you can always open it up into the cart at any point, and then also always use this export button. So those are a couple tips um, and tricks with how to, to actually upload, and, and those are a couple use case scenarios on, on how to get the most out of this Excel feature, um, whether it's reaching out or using in a market appointment. Um, I definitely encourage a lot of you, if you're going to use the import function, to go ahead and test um, it out. Maybe, maybe go and use your... Um, maybe you're one of your biggest buyers, like their Excel PO, and go ahead and try and make these, these few edits to the headers and drag and drop it here and, and um, just practice uploading it and see how quick and easy it is. And, and you should be comfortable pretty, um, you know, relatively quickly. And if you have any questions or any issues with any of it, please reach out to your account manager or heroes um, and we can walk you through uh, how to do it um, a little bit faster and make you more efficient. So thanks everybody for joining today and looking forward to seeing everybody next Wednesday.